why not try it out? I have never even heard of this brand. There's one problem and I, I may need them to fix it. That will make me never purchase this product ever again. It was so annoying, so maybe I got a defective one. Possible. You're able to see how dark I actually got with the self tanner. Big, bigger bottle version. My goodness, say that 10 times fast. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another self tanner review. This is another Australian brand and I was so excited to try it out. One of you actually recommended it for me in one of my videos and I was like, why not try it out? I have never even heard of this brand. So if you guys want to know which product I am talking about, then just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right on in. The self tanner that we're going to be talking about is called Vanit Tan and it's the Illuminate one hour express self tanning mousse this retails for 21 US dollars it is a very small bottle I've only used this three times and honestly it feels like I can probably get maybe one more tan out of this it's a bit expensive when you put it in perspective of other self tanners I did film myself beforehand applying this so you could see how pale I was beforehand, what it looks like right when I applied after I rinsed off and then now so I'm gonna play those clips for you right now in this clip, I'm showing you how messy this product gets after each use, and I have to use a makeup wipe in order to remove the product, and this is my biggest flaw with this product. Getting the pump to work is so difficult. Right here, you can see that has a very light color guard, which I do not mind, and I'm just showing you once again how messy it gets. <laughs> it is currently 12.08 a.m., and I am gonna go to bed. I have to be up at like 5.30, so this will be on for like five and a half hours, and I'll be back and show you guys the color that I am as soon as I rinse it off, and then it will get darker over the next couple of hours. Okay, see you guys in the morning. You guys, I just woke up, it is 5.44. Oop, there we go, 5.45. And um, I'm gonna rinse this off. Right now the color is very brown with a deep, green undertone so we'll see how this turns out you guys know how green undertones usually turn out to me sometimes they're a little bit too golden but the really dark brown undertone i think might help with that you guys i had to turn on my ring light and my other lights for this to show you the color they are definitely wash bow bear the camera just wants to focus on you it's a problem but uh, they're definitely washing the color out of it but you could see how brown it looks right now so i'm gonna go rinse it off and see if that color stays Okay guys, I just rinsed it off and I am quite a bit lighter than I was, but I know that it's gonna keep developing over the next like six to eight hours. So I'll be back tomorrow to show you the final color. I had one of you comment on my last video saying that it was nice to see where I start from and where I get to. I'll insert a clip right here from yesterday, which I think gives a really good view of the tan that I did on my clothing haul. So you guys can check that out. I did a pretty little thing with clothing haul. But you can really see like my legs, stomach, and everything in this clip. You're able to see how dark I actually got with the self tanner. It is a beautiful self tanner. I think I left this on for like a total of six hours. So I got into like the dark category. If you leave this on for one hour, you'll be a light color, two to four hours, medium, four to six, dark, and eight hours, ultra dark. And it has a chocolate base. You guys, this is very brown very natural looking i love the color that this product right here gives off i would continue buying this product non-stop if there's one problem and i i may need them to fix it because it's a problem that will make me never purchase this product ever again the pump oh my goodness and i looked up there was like one other review on these products and she said the exact same thing unless i somehow got a defective one or if they change it up because you, you guys, you barely get any product. You have to hold it in a certain position, pump it so many times, and you get like the littlest bit. And say you need like two pumps for your arm, you're only getting one pump, and then you have to sit there and get another pump. It is, it's crazy. My thought is that it's the formula. It's a very thin formula, so it dries really fast. But when you pump it out, it's not a foam. It is a liquid. So I'm not sure why it's in a foam container. I honestly think like a pump container would work better. If you're going to use a foam container, you better make it a foam or it's just not really going to work. I did apply this with a mitt and it went on beautifully. You guys, there's no streak. It looks just as pretty as it did on day one. As I mentioned, I've worn this before. It fades really well. You don't get patchy and it kind of just fades away. It's a very beautiful tan. Now, the first time that I applied this, I only left it on for the one hour. I kind of wanted to see what it looked like. It was a very light tan, and as soon as I rinsed it off, I was actually kind of stained green. There is a green base to this, but it's not a very like golden self-tanner. It is very chocolate, so it's a little confusing, but I was stained green for a moment, and, and then over like the next 24 hours, it did turn to a more natural tan-looking color, but 
you guys, it was like one of those tans. If you didn't know how pale I started, you wouldn't even think I had a self tanner on. So if you are like me and you at least like to look like you got some color, you would want to leave it on for the four to six hours. And then if you want even darker than I am right now, you would leave it on for the eight hours. This is a self tanner that I think would work on almost every single undertone. If you're a red undertone, an olive undertone, it kind of, it's, it's more of a neutral ground, even though, like I said, it's seen me green, which I was thinking it was gonna be a very golden color. I would look very yellow but it does have that beautiful chocolate undertone. So it makes it that it works for every single person. Now there are a lot of different oils in here that make it a hydrating self tanner and my skin doesn't feel parched. It's very nice. It says it has mica in it to give a reflective look. Is that good for you? I don't, everyone like with cosmetics hates mica, but then I was hearing mica's not that bad. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on mica being in a product. In this clip, I wanna show you guys their website. It is very detailed. So if you're new to self tanners, it's a really nice website to go through. They tell you how much DHA is in this product, which is super important because that will determine how dark you get. It talks about the color and the base and who it will suit. It talks about the smell of it, how often you have to apply it and how long it will last. Also, how long you have to keep it on to get to the color that you wanna reach. And I mentioned that there are a lot of different oils in this and I kind of skimmed over that. So I want to show you all the different oils that are in this product. Product. One of the ones that stands out to me is the rose hip seed oil and this contains essential nutrients for vitamin A and C. It's very good for your skin and you can see at the bottom is the mica. You guys let me know what you think of mica because I'm not sure. I didn't know this was in self tanners and I talked to my sister today and she said that it is actually very common. Final thoughts on the self tanner right here is that it's a beautiful self tanner. If you guys are in the market for a really nice dark chocolate self tanner, this is for you. However, Wait until they change the pump or make, like I said, maybe I got a defective one. Possible. But that, oof, it is so annoying. The pump on this is so annoying that I truly would not buy it again unless they reach out to me and tell me that they changed the pump or I got a defective one because it was so annoying. But it's so sad because it really is a pretty color. It's not very expensive. I do wish it was a bigger bottle or they at least made a big, bigger bottle version. My goodness, say that 10 times fast. Overall, a really beautiful self tanner. I think you guys would all love this, especially those of you who really like fast drying self tanners. This dries super fast you will love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. It's at Casey Elizabeth underscore YT. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.